so welcome back everyone um we're gonna do a little bit of a different video today i know you guys have been getting a lot of racing footage but yeah that's pretty much uh over now last weekend uh was gonna be the last race but we might do one more uh we're not sure yet but yeah that's not what this video is gonna be about as you can see we're moving in to the breeding loft uh, yeah we still have to get rid of all of these pigeons but um let me just move this out of the way we're moving into the breeding loft now this is the part for the cockbirds as you might be able to see uh, those guys are all cockbirds uh, so yeah, uh, we, I did just give them a little bit of feed, uh, which is going to be enough for this morning. But yeah, I just wanted to make a little video about one of uh, the new additions on this loft. Uh, as you can see, the old guy is making quite a mess uh, down there. Even though being 14 years old, he doesn't uh, let the other cockbirds walk over him. Yeah, that's a big grizzle. We did, we did move all the cockbirds from the young bird loft over there back in here. Um, so yeah, the ace pigeon uh, and then the grizzle. And then we did have another one, but we're gonna get rid of that one. But yeah, this video was gonna be about a new addition to this loft um, for this year's breeding plan. And you're looking at him right now. Uh, that's actually a pigeon um, Paul, Paul Sturks promised us a long while ago uh, and we finally got it yesterday I believe so yeah we already put him on air um, just so I can pick out a uh, nest box to breed in uh, but yeah that's gonna be him I'll grab him in a little bit uh, so you can get a better look at him but yeah, I held him the other day and we have gotten quite a few um, birds over the years. Um, I would say between 10 and 15 or so that we've tried out. Some with uh, great success, some with a little bit less. Like for example, that one, uh, we're gonna get rid of him. Uh, I don't like him at all. Um, I don't know why my dad decides to keep him, but uh, yeah, I don't think he's a good bird at all. So yeah, let's get the other ones next to him. Looks like most of them have, um, might have already picked out another nest box, but yeah, we might also get rid of him. Um, and yeah, that's, we're gonna have a, quite a small breeding team this year. Uh, we're also gonna breed with the widowers, of course, but you know. Yeah, a little bit more about the pigeon we got. Uh, as many of you know, Paul Sturks is basically the best fancier in our club. Um, he usually charges around 200 and 250 euros per pigeon. Um, but yeah, we got this one for free. But if you're from our club and we and you're watching this, we didn't get him for free. Um, but you know, uh, most of the people have to pay a lot of money for his pigeons. We have gotten like three of him over the years, uh, including one really good hen, um, which uh, the one of the widowers, one of the, our two best widowers, is a kid, um, is an offspring from her. So yeah. But yeah, um, I held him the other day and I have to say it's one of the best uh, looking birds we've ever gotten gifted. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a quite a good breeder. Um, yeah, I'll, I think some of the, some of the results he flew uh, were top 10% um, finishes. And then obviously when Paul Sturks um, keeps a pigeon for two years it's gonna be a good pigeon and uh, there's no debating that so yeah and obviously uh, we couldn't really tell anyone we got it for free 
but I'm telling you now. Um, yeah, uh, a wise man uh, once told me uh, the best pigeons in your life you get gifted for free, for nothing. So you don't have to pay for uh, the best pigeons. Which I'm not saying this is gonna be the best one, I'm just saying that this is a really nice one. So yeah, I'm gonna grab him now, turn uh, and give you guys a closer look at him. So I'm filming this with the front camera. I don't know how good the lighting is going to be. Looks like it might be a little bit bright. But yeah, just generally the feel of the pigeon. It's really, really nice. It does remind me a lot of the old strain that uh, my grandfather used to have. Not the biggest one, but really, really round in the chest. Wide on the shoulders. Nice looking tail as well. Obviously he's nice in the feathers because I think um, he, he was still raised not too long ago. So yeah, let's take a look. It's pretty tame as well, which I'm quite surprised by. Pretty nice looking wing. Just overall a solid, solid bird. Yeah, many of you know Paul Sturks has gotten some really good results this year. Well, basically every year, but you know. Just really, really round, nice looking. I think it's gonna be a pretty good addition. So if any of you want to know the ring number, um, let's try and get you guys a closer look at it. I don't know if it's upside down, no, shouldn't be. So yeah, as you can tell by the ring number uh, and by the color of the ring, it's a 2020 pigeon. So yeah, it's a yearling. So we kept him for, we kept him as a young bird and then as a yearling. Let's turn the camera around and release him. So yeah, overall really nice pigeon. I think it's gonna be a solid addition, as I said. We're not sure yet who we're gonna pair him up to, but uh, yeah. Pretty sure that's actually might be a Paul Sturks uh, as well. Yeah, Paul Sturks did say that he got uh, that one out of uh, from Gebruders van der Brande, which he, they didn't play too well this year, but uh, they're really known uh, to be some good fanciers. So yeah, actually I believe, um, yeah, no. I don't think he, he was saying something about Hendrix, but I know I don't know that name uh, myself. Maybe some of you might know who Hendrix is, but I don't. So yeah, obviously it still looks a little bit small compared to the Grizzle, but that's just a really really big bird. That's actually the Grizzle's um, brother or half brother. So yeah, we're not gonna have too many breeders this year, which is solid. Obviously he, those two are father and son. They are both uh, infertile, so yeah. But yeah, I'm really excited for this pigeon. Um, we might try, we ha do have two Paul Sturks hen uh, hens remaining, uh, including that one really good one. Um, but we might, we put a really good hen against the Grizzle um, and that one really worked out. It bred 636, which is upstairs in the Widow Loft. Um, I believe he was like fifth ace pigeon in the club and 611 was obviously second ace pigeon. So yeah. Uh, obviously class birds 
um, so we don't know with what 10 we're gonna put against him. Uh, but yeah, that's what's happening on here. Uh, we did clean this loft, but it's already getting a little bit dirty. Now we're moving over to the hand side. Yeah, I know this one still needs to be cleaned uh, before we start breeding. We basically only clean this two times a year, once before breeding and once after breeding. Yeah, a lot of hands on here, a lot uh, will still need to go as well. But uh, let's see if I can try and find that Paul Sturk's hen. I think that might be the one sitting. Yeah, that one really good one has a green ring, which we only have two of I, as far as I can see. So, and I think, I'm thinking it's that one. Um, yeah, that's a, that's one with white flights and I, no, that's one of ours. And then this is one, this is a really good Paul Sturgeon. Might actually be related to the coke bird we got now, but who knows. But yeah, we're gonna try, uh, we're gonna put that hen against the grizzle again this year which worked out really well, so why not try it again? So yeah, uh, that's gonna be this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the new addition to the loft. As always, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.